delivering on a dramatic tour de force. One of my all-time favorite cinematic films was a blockbuster of ethereal and magnanimous proportions. A movie, nay, 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 a film entitled Back to the Fantasy Future. In it, our strikingly handsome protagonist, Jimmy McFly, confronts his future in a thrilling dialogue that transcends our corporeal bodies and moves into the celestial. Bump, 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 that's power love. All right, and our lineup is set. We're starting Baker Mayfield, let's go. Woo, woo. Great Scott, what year is this? Are you? Yes, I'm you, but from the future. Damn, I've aged well. I mean, Asians don't raise him, so. But we don't have time for that. Please tell me you didn't start Baker Mayfield in week number three. Well, yeah, why wouldn't I play Shake and Bake? He's awesome. Hello, McFly? Anybody home? Anybody there? The offense is still finding itself, and Baker keeps chucking it deep. He's averaged 9.9 .9 air yards per pass attempt. That's the fifth most in the NFL. But here's the only problem, McFly. The Rams have yet to allow a single deep pass completion all season long, and it doesn't get any better in week number three. Trust me, I'm from the future. Whoa, this is heavy. I mean, I guess the Rams have allowed just 7.79 fantasy points per game to quarterbacks. It's the second lowest in the NFL. 1.21 gigawatts. Huey Lewis in the news. DeLorean, flux capacitor. What? See ya.